Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skyline Park Life with me, Biffer. Thank you very, very much for joining me. So we've got lots we want to get done in our city today. We're increasing past 40,894 people. I was waiting for that. 899. It's going up. It's going up. Our next target is 50,000. Aha, uh -huh, we can get some cool new things. Um, our parks are doing pretty well at the moment. Uh, tourism, oh, it's this one here I want to look at. Park area. Yeah, there we go. Level 5 parks all over the place. Crest City Park, Mrs. Needs IT Park. We, we weren't really expecting many visitors there. Crest City Park, which was that one? Let's just have a quick look at that. Oh, yeah, this teeny tiny park here is actually still getting visitors, but... The main focus of this park is this nursing home. So we shall, uh, yeah, not worry too much about that. But we're growing well. We're growing well. We really need to sort out uh, the entry into the city at the moment. Um, because we just have this one road, which, as you can see, gets super, super busy. But before we get to working on that... I have fixed this! Aha! Uh -huh. Out of all the suggestions that there have been about what was the problem with this. The, the main one was, you use Move It Mod. It broke the thing. No, it wasn't Move It Mod. Um, I didn't actually Move It Mod this. Or if I did originally, I replaced it. But look, there you go. You can see that was an intercity train. Um, let's just quickly, whoops, look at our train route because there is one that I want to change. This one here. There we go. Just so we can see the difference. I set up a train line from here to here just to sort of see... If it would do any trains at all. And as you can see, it does. Um, but every now and again, we will still get a city from... A uh, city. A train from outside the city. I've turned off allow in, intercity trains there. And I've got it turned on there. What I did was I deleted this road. Um, and re-put that road in again. And I don't know why. I don't know what, what I did with this road. Whether at some point... I messed around with it or something, but it was stopping things working. So there we go. So keep your eyes open for an orange train. We will have them come down here momentarily, I assure you, because I've seen them with my own eyes. It's just because now I'm talking about it, it's not happening. But anyway, yes, people are coming down there, which is good. Um, we can, I believe, click on the right thing and purchase a square. We want to have another entrance into the city and the only square we can buy that will help us do that is this one up here which is a bit of a bummer because ideally i'd like to sort of hook into say that entrance and then have them come into the city over there but if we buy this one and have a highway come down here we could try and sort of connect it like these roads here we could start setting up bridges coming straight across this water and connect up to that i think that would be quite good so we are going to purchase that one purchase there we go excellent and then we'll have a highway connection coming off there just until we do that i want to delete that yeah that one needs emptying thank you very much i want to get some of these some of these roads as bridges going straight across and see where we are once I've done those. So that'll be that one there. Let's just sort of get them... Was that 90 degrees? Yeah, let's get them... Let's just get them over. We can always sort of fiddle around them a bit later if we need to. Uh, that is actually a tram line so we could i'm gonna make that a tram line road across there because you never know at a later date we may wish to do something with the trams let's just check if our thing is turned on yep it's just not close enough we'll go with that anyway good yeah we'll adjust all the heights and things another time we've got this one here that is also a tram row, but then we've got all of these in the way, which is a bit of a bummer. So, let us... Let's come down to here. And then, obviously, you're going to have to move these ones. So, let's move it mod that one. Uh, I keep saying move it mod. We're not moving it mod in it at all, are we? We're just normal vanilla game mechanics moving it. 
So the weekend is coming up. What are you looking forward to doing this weekend? Do you have any plans? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, I used the wrong road, didn't I? Let's upgrade that. There we go. Let's have this one going across. And where are we going to? About there. Is that 90 degrees? What does that say? 180 degrees. Oh, yeah, because it is 180 degrees. Do it. Uh, let's just, yeah, go to there. Okay, excellent. That's good. Oh, this one we've already started going across. Uh, what's this one? Let's go back to that one with the trees. There we go. We'll just put that one to there. Oh, I guess that one's going to be a tunnel. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that is a rather large hill. And then what have we got here? Can I connect that one up? That's just a standard four-lane road. Yeah, we'll change this junction here. So, is that that one? No, it is this one. Let's just pause a second. Let's get rid of that. There we go. We'll go up to there. And we'll just sort of swing that one around, can't we? Yeah, or oh, we can go straight. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to hook that one back up again. There we go. Excellent. Right, that's that one. And we're almost there. Then we've got these ones down here, which are a bit further away. So, yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave those ones. Okay, so that sort of gives us a rough idea of where we're going to be connecting to. In fact, I might connect these ones up and... Excuse me, goodbye. Uh, yeah, I think we will have these ones come across because then if we have the highway connection, I don't want it too far away because what will happen is nobody will use it. But if we have it here, then we can have the highway come down that way. Where would it go after that? It could sort of swing round up here, couldn't it? We could have a, our next sort of city build in these mountains. We've got like this little... What would you call that? I want to say caldera. I don't think that's the right word. But this little section in there, which would be fun to build in. So, yeah. Let's go with that. And then we can have these roads coming off of there. So, if we have... I'm going to go for this straight section. I'm going to delete a load of that. And also, it could end up coming across here as well, couldn't it? At some point. So, maybe let's keep that in mind. And let's add... And we've got these clover leaves, which are pretty good. We could use one of those. Huh. Because the other one, anything else we've got is going to be just a bit too big. Uh, slope too steep. Yeah, these things are a bit finickety. Although they're quite good, those ones. Clover stack. Oh, that might go... Yeah, that will go in a little bit further back. And that one will go in. What's that one? Let's try that. Timbo's Clover Mill Interchange. So if we go with that one, that actually looks like it's pretty nicely joined up. Excellent. Let's get our motorway roads and connect these up. Let's give ourselves a bit of space. There we go. And there. Excellent. And that is pretty much straight on, isn't it? More or less, near enough. Okay, good. So then, let's just have a look through here. So if it came through there and came out the other side, and then it's going to go around that way. I'd like to try and have it at a, at a nice right angle so this all lines up correctly. That's what I'm trying to do. So if we take this road here, which is the six-lane road, this one, run this all the way along there we go so that gives us something to work off is that there we go yep yeah, we'll have that back thank you very much quick sip of tea and then we've got something to aim for haven't we with our highway road so i'm just thinking here if we use this one let's just see if we sort of come along there and curve around to about here that would work about well, wouldn't it? Work about well, work about right. So I reckon about there. Let's connect up with that. So we'd sort of go, say, like that. 
maybe a little bit nearer. Let's do it as close as the game will let us. Yeah, there we go. That's good. So then we connect those two up. Let's go like that. There we go. Like that. Like that. Ah, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not what I want. We'll see what I'm trying to do in a sec. Yeah. So what we can do is if we turn off the bend in the road and have that straight. Yeah. I think that'll work. And then if we take out one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then we can curve that around to meet up instead. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. That's what I'm looking for. So, let's close that down. Let's make sure these are all going the right way. Yep, that was fine. That one's going in. It's that bit there I'm not quite pleased about. But I'll work on that. There we go. So, now we've got this straight. So, if we go straight down with this. Let's go with this one here. Now, what are we going to do? Are we going to go up and over or through? I mean, if I come... Yeah, it's going to hit these railway lines, isn't it? So let's just delete a few of those. I mustn't forget to put these back. Let's just see what it wants to do automatically. It might just... Automatically do a tunnel. No, it's going to want to go straight over the top, isn't it? So if I do page down... So... To there and then page up. What? <laughs> what is it doing? I did page down and it's decided to build it all up in a weird, 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 weird. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, so there, page down. Yes, that's why. And then we've got to keep this straight. 180 degrees, 180 degrees. 180 degrees, right, to about there. And then we can do page up and come out the other side. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then it keeps it out of the way. Okay, there we go. I've got that both of these roads lined up. And I've sorted out that weird corner thing that we've got going on there. So we know that that is a nice right angle to everything else. Obviously, that wouldn't connect on there. That would go through. Excellent. And that would come through there. So now we can join, if we wish all of these roads up i mean we may not want to do that this one here i mean that's what we might do is if we join this one up here it's disconnect it from here but then any of this traffic yeah maybe we'll just leave it as it is i'm just sort of looking at what's gonna have traffic going through this one here that one's not too bad oh we haven't put that road across have we oh look and that's right where i moved the things ha huh. Let's just move those again and put that road across here. Uh, yeah, let's move you. Excuse me. Move you. And this will also give us a good basis for later on as we start expanding our city, this side of the river as well. We'll have good road connections. Everyone's going to be complaining about the staff. One, two, three. If you've got power, no, you don't. That can be quickly and easily fixed. And over here somewhere. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Right, let's get this one across. Let's turn that off. Uh, the tree. Where's the tree with the tree down the middle? There we go. So. Excellent. And then that's going to start going up the hill. Right, okay. That's good. So how are we going to have the junctions here what we could perhaps do is have one junction for this one in fact it'll have to be in the middle there and then these roads connect up i mean if that one came straight down yeah one junction for this one here so let's bring this one all the way across is this the tram one still this is going to end up being a long tram line if it stays as a tram line i guess we shall see when we get there yeah we'll go all the way up yes we will let's go all the way up so let's stick a junction here. And then I'm thinking these three could somehow connect to that junction. 
And then these three could connect to a junction. I'm not quite sure because it's underground. Maybe the other junction will be over there. Let's see. We'll see when we get to that. So for now, I think what we're going to put in here, now that I've done all of that, is one of our standard... One of these. That will work nicely. It's actually bigger than I thought. Okay, can you line up for me? There we go. So we know that's the exact way we want it. Well, here we go. Yeah, there we go. That'll work out well there. And then we can do... Let's have a look. We pause this. There we go. We can add a small roundabout into there. Yeah, that'll do. So let's get this lined up. I reckon about there looks good. Yep, excellent. Um, let's do what we normally do with these. We'll add this little center section in so it doesn't get deformed as we start adding roads to it. Uh, we could bring in this here. So that can go to there. That can go to there, and then that one can be turned around. Excellent. Yeah, and I'm thinking these ones here could connect up to that instead. So I may I may change which roads these are later. Oh, hang on. Let's upgrade the roundabout. What have we got? Two lanes going round? No, we definitely want more than that. Should we make this a three-lane highway? Hmm. Four-lane highway? Would that be too much? I think the size of the roads that are going to be coming off of this. We've got a six-lane road coming off there. Four-lane coming off there. Yeah, let's just go with that. We can always change it at a later date, can't we? As and when we actually get all these roads connected. So then if we bring that one to there. Uh, yeah, we'll delete that for now. And then where's the third one? Here it is. So we'll bring this one down as well. Do you know what? I don't normally build... I don't normally build cities so sort of square, which you know from my other series. And I'm quite enjoying having this as my sort of square city and my other one as more organic and that sort of thing. I mean, I'm enjoying the different options that it's giving me. It's it's fun. I like it. So that will connect. We'll go up like that. Yep, that will connect there. Excellent. And then this one's going to connect here. That's the same road. So we upgrade. Is that deleting? Yeah, upgrade that. Connect those together. Excellent. And then what I'm also going to do is... There we go. Just curve that off slightly. And yep, that's the right one. And the same here. Yeah. Slightly better. Excellent. And that's going the right way. Those two can't connect, but that's fine. Because it's only the roads I'm interested in at the moment. In fact, what I could do there... Although I hate having... I hate having the tram. Just one-way tram track. Coming over a roundabout like this. Because it... What, seriously? That can't curve from there to there. What? Can I just go straight? Okay, we'll go straight then. Because <laughs> it starts putting in traffic lights in weird places and stuff like that. So, let us check on here. So, let's take those off. Those off. Yep. Everything else is looking fine. Oh, I've not upgraded that little bit there, have I? I was looking at that thinking that doesn't look right to me. There we go. Excellent. Uh, we'll take that off there. Good. There we go. So, yeah, that little connection there will probably change at some point. Our tram will probably sort of cut across here or something like that. Uh, this bit here certainly looks to me like it needs to go underneath. So, we're going to remove all of that. How far back does that go? It's almost back to there, isn't it? And that whole section looks like it needs to be an underground tram. And then the road could sort of come off the side here somehow. Yeah. Not quite sure yet what I will do with this road. But let's go underground. And let's go along. Is that straight? 
and then go page up there. Yeah, so we may have this branch off and have a separate square in there, but we'll leave that like it is. Um, this one, I don't mind it going up the hill. Okay. So that's, let's just unpause for a second, let the game run for a bit. So I'm hoping we're going to get more traffic coming down there. Although at the moment, that is like the longer way around to get to stuff. So it might only affect guys coming from this way. We'll sort of come off and come around that direction. We'll have to see whether that makes much of a difference. Yeah, right. Okay, what do we need? Our city needs some industry. So let us get... I wanted to get IT offices in this section and some commercials. So let's quickly meet those needs so people don't start complaining and leaving and... Let's have... Oh, that's a shame. Mm, okay, let's move that disaster response with this. Let's get that hooked up there. Will that go one over? No. Okay, hooked up there. Let's have that one come right across. We may as well. And let's have this one... <laughs> oh, it's in the way again! Yeah, let's not make that a four-way junction. Let's come off down here like this there we go so this is going to be maybe this can be like a little mini shopping little mini shopping area just in there this can all be it and i'm wondering whether just to leave like a little a little park in the middle like something like that because we haven't done anything like that for a while yeah maybe let's do that how's the water pipes looking over here looking terrible so let's fix that just have that one go out to there, that one go out to there. Yeah, good. And we're going to have all of the inside of this section here. What is that building there? Sightseeing bus depot. Okay, fine. So we'll have all of that in there. And then we'll have this as just high density shops, which for some reason have two little gaps. I don't know why. There we go. Yep. You've got the place to build. Don't complain. We demand, demand for industry offices. Yep, that's what you've got. And then let's just fill in this little section in here. So we've got a metro. And we're right opposite the train station here, which is fantastic. So let's come in. So that one went here. Hang on a sec. Yeah, let's connect those two up. Have a little section in the middle. That can come over there. No, I don't want to go like that. Uh, that'll be okay. Let's leave those little spaces. Then we can just have a few more shops. Sort of in a section like that. Now, I have seen... Some of you have told me about a new mod... That allows you to place normal park items pre-park life items into a park which is quite good uh, let's have that there and that there yeah add that sort of little bonus to that area there so i will be looking at that mod and yeah we'll, we'll add that one in we've got these crystal pillars which we haven't got in this city yet they could be quite good in like a little park in the center here yeah maybe we'll come back to that once that's all grown there we go. They're upgrading as well, which is nice. Fantastic. I've had quite a few people asking me how I how I get the city to look so realistic and sharp. Um, and I've actually got a couple of mods that do that. I can quickly show you those. Uh, I've got the dynamic resolution mod, which I've upgraded the resolution from I play in 1080p. Add 250% and it upgrades it. And that really makes a big difference. I mean, if I put that down... Well, <laughs> well, if I put it too far, uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's put it to 100%. So, no, I don't know why it's 1920 by 966. It should be 1920 by 1080, but anyway. And you can see it still looks good. But you do get sort of the, the little rough edges and things like that. And I find that 250% is just enough to take all those rough edges off. And it looks good. So that's one of them. There we go. 
Um, and also the daylight mod. This one down here, which is called Ultimate Eye Candy. Just changing and adding in shadows. So, for instance, if we put it like at the height of the day. So, let's put it at midday when the sun is right above. I mean, obviously, the city would look like that if the sun was right above at midday. But it sort of takes away most of the shadows. Whereas you can have it looking warmer. Let's pick the time of day. What do they have it on? So something like that. There we go. And instantly, just that bit more warmth from the sun being a bit lower down makes all the difference. So just fiddling with things like that make all the difference. And one other mod as well. If I come out and go into my options, sharp textures. So you can change this. In fact, I haven't actually got that. I thought I had that set. Normally, I'd have that set to very high and very sharp but i think i've turned that off because i've been using been using the other mod the dynamic resolution mod yeah I'm not sure it needs that as well we'll just put that one back but yeah those first two mods let's put that back to normal and vanilla and we'll just leave it like that there we go excellent but there yeah they make a big difference they make a big difference i've just noticed a lot of traffic Still coming up this road. I mean, it's moving. It's busy. It's doing okay. But that really is the main backbone of our city. And I'm just wondering whether... I mean, it's already a six-lane road. There's... N What's that? Oh, it's the hot air balloon. I was thinking, what the heck's that? There's probably not much more we can do to upgrade that road. This is still backing up, isn't it? And unfortunately, because I don't own that square, I can't do anything to help... The car's going past, so... Yeah, anyway. Not many people... Are, yeah, one guy is using this. Thank you, guy. Who is it and where are you going? Let's just see. Where's he going? Returning to facility from fine furniture. There he is. So he's decided, for him, that slightly quicker route through. Good. I mean, I could, like, delete this road here. But what would happen is, is they'd come off there, go up over the top. Hmm... But I really, I, this is, ideally, I want another connection there and then connect these rows. But we've got to buy so many squares to get that. Oh, another advert. Yeah, it might take a little bit longer. But, yeah. So these three are going to end up over here connecting somehow. Although it's underneath. So it might be that the other junction is over here. We'll have to see. I'm not quite sure how that section's going to go. So I just thought this little section in the middle of the IT buildings here, I've changed my mind. We've got normal IT buildings around the outside. I think we're going to put a teeny tiny little district in the middle here. Uh, I'll do that and then I'll tidy it up. I don't want it to touch these buildings. And we're going to make that IT so we get some small... There we go. Don't touch those, don't touch those. Excellent. No, don't touch those. There we go. I think that's okay. So that's middle heights. And then I keep saying IT. What do I mean? I mean office. So we've got normal office around the outside. And then in middle heights, which is going to be renamed to somebody from my patrons. Thank you very much for supporting me on there. By the way, if you're a patron, we're doing a, a giveaway of Tropico 5, the complete collection so get on there there we go oh it's a cool name randomly chosen let's get back onto here again middle height is now going to be kaiju heights thank you very much for your support on patreon link below anybody from three dollars and above uh, is welcome to join the giveaway so if you want to go and check that out feel free um so what am i looking for office note this one here Yep, IT cluster. Excellent. So we're going to have Kaiju Heights will be IT in the middle of this normal office section. It'll be interesting to see how that goes and how high these get in there. And I'm just wondering as well whether we can add a small monument of some sort in there that's office, office related. Hmm, I quite like official park, but that's pretty big. But I'm going to put it in anyway. There we go. And then we'll get some nice tall IT buildings around that. Let's speed things up.
There we go. So there's still some growing, but that's not too bad. I'm quite liking that. And they're upgrading pretty quick as well, which is which is what we want to see. So we've lost a little bit of population. We do need to expand again, but we'll have to do that next episode. Hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. As always, any hints and tips you've got, leave them in the comments below. And we are going to continue expanding our park life city. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.